Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how I made the Darkest Night helmet, aka Lord Batman Who Laughs. But this time I'm adding a visor so I'm actually able to see out of it. I've made a helmet before, uh, but like I said, I wasn't able to see. And you'll see in the next clip what I mean, uh, but I'm going to show you how I made it. This was from Fan Expo Dallas 2019. And as you can see here, I'm relying on my friend to kind of guide me. And the whole time I was thinking of different ways I can make myself see. Anyways, let's get to the video. I cut out a partial flash helmet template that I got from Etsy. I made my own template for the nose guard on Batman's cow. And I'm cutting out a trench here in the middle so I can get a more defined edge. I'm using my heat gun to heat up my four helmet pieces and shape them over my styrofoam dome so they're already going to be pre-curved when I'm ready to glue them all together. I'm applying my contact cement on all of my curved pieces and of course you want to wait about five to ten minutes until that glue becomes tacky to the touch and then you want to start attaching all of these pieces together as carefully as possible. All right, and with the glue tacky, I'm now able to attach the first half of this helmet together. As you can see here, I'm using my table to keep my two glued seams level. Here are the two completed halves that need to be glued. I apply my layer of glue on both halves and of course, wait a few minutes and you're able to stick them all together, creating your helmet. Now this will be the base for the Darkest Night helmet. Going back to that nose guard that I made earlier, I'm going to use my heat gun to heat up the foam and shape it into place. And once that foam piece has cooled off a little bit, then I'm going to apply a layer of glue in the middle of that trench so I can hold its shape. Moving on, I made a template for my earpiece, my crown, and my cheek guard. There's three arches on the crown, so I did make a second of the smaller arch, and I did double up on the cheek guard and the earpiece. For the spike visor, I cut out a long strip of 10 millimeter HD foam. I'm going to cut out a middle section here for the acrylic. I have a thin, flexible sheet of acrylic that I'll use for my visor. Here I'm marking a 2.5 by 5 inch rectangle to fit inside my foam strip. Using a sharpened blade, I score a few passes into the acrylic. After a few passes, I work the acrylic back and forth on the cut line until it breaks apart. Here's what I ended up with after removing it. Next thing I needed to do was place it inside the foam strip. So now I'm carefully tracing the outline of the acrylic, which I will now cut out. I removed the protective covering from the acrylic and applied glue to that, as well as the cut foam and just attach them together. Here's what I ended up with after putting everything together. Reusing the removed foam from the visor, I cut off the corners to reinforce the acrylic. With the triangles cut out, I'm going to insert them into the main visor like this. I applied my glue on the triangles as well as the acrylic and the main visor itself. This is just a test fit to see how the build is going so far. Once I was happy with my positioning, I removed the overhanging material. When I was happy with my progress, I marked where I wanted the ears to go. With the ears figured out, I started with the middle arch of the crown and worked my way out. With the placement of everything all figured out, I applied a layer of glue on each end of the visor and finally attach them all together.
here's how this all turned out. Before attaching the two earpieces, I wanted to double check the placement just to be sure I was going to be happy with it. And just like all of the other pieces, I apply my layer of glue on the earpiece and the visor. And of course, wait a few minutes and attach them all together. I tried to take my time attaching these so I won't have as much of a hard time cleaning up the seams later. Just like the ears, I tried to make these arches as clean as possible on the seams to minimize the visibility. Now the helmet is finally taking shape. I applied a layer of quick seal on all of my seams on the helmet and smoothed it all out with a little bit of water on my finger. I marked where I wanted my cheek guards to go. I almost didn't use these pieces because I don't like the way they look in the comic, but I decided to just go with it anyways. Remember that nose guard from earlier? Well now it's finally getting attached inside the helmet. Here, I'm moving on to the spiky boys on the helmet. I made a little template and now I'm just tracing it on some two millimeter foam. I'm going to be making seven in total. With all of the spikes traced out on my foam, I use my sharpened knife and cut them all out. For the spikes, I prefer to use contact cement so I can glue down the first piece, work my way down, and once everything's set, I go back to the first and attach it from the wider end up to the tip. Using a pen, I mark where I want the spikes to go, and I apply a layer of glue within that circle, and of course, you want to attach these bad boys together. And here we go, another test fit to see how things are looking. I'm taping off the bottom end of the helmet to keep the plastic dip away from it and make it easier to glue to the visor. I'm also taping off the acrylic on the visor to keep the plastic dip away from it. Finally, I applied three layers of plastic dip on the main helmet as well as the crown. Next, I apply three layers of Vallejo Chrome paint onto the crown and I painted the main helmet a nice gloss black. Once I had the crown finished up, I removed the tape and did one very light layer of chrome paint onto the visor. I removed the tape from the helmet as well as the inside of the visor. To attach these two pieces together, I used a thick wet layer of contact cement on the main helmet and slid it inside of the crown so they can sit for a little bit and bond together that way instead of letting them dry and try to put them together. Now to dirty up the helmet, I use my black shoe polish and just dab it on and use a damp paper towel to wipe it off. As you can see here, if you're looking out of the visor, my hand is visible, so you can see out of it. It's not clear, but you can see. All right, and this is the finished helmet. I did include a couple of photos that you can see on the screen now, uh, but yeah, this is it. I'm debating on making the full costume, but until then, I wanna thank you all for watching, and y'all take care.